Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from Oski Nurse Training Cambridge and my experienced Oski Nurse Trainer for the NMC Oski exam in UK and also the lead trainer for Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. Uh, if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. I'm back with another adult NMC Oski topic for you. And this time, uh, you've been asking this for a long time. So it's another evidence-based practice station, but we are going to look at the autism spectrum disorder, which can be quite complicated to understand okay so i'm going to do that today i'm going to be covering that topic we will look at this one scenario we will look at a study a research article which i found online now you may get this article or you may get similar article okay uh, but you will get some kind of research article to read uh, and you will get a scenario we're going to look at that scenario we're going to look at a, art, a research article then we're going to write our answers together after understanding what is the current evidence and practice for looking after people with autism spectrum disorder okay uh, how does how do healthcare people find uh, do they struggle with looking after people with a autism spectrum disorder or not and that's the topic today okay so let's get into it uh, so you will have a scenario on your screen so just to say this is a 10 minute written station you already know that because it tells you every time so it's a 10 minute station it's a written station you will get a scenario like not like now on your screen and then you will also get a, a little small research study article which is on your screen now and then you get a blank sheet to write your bullet points as your recommendations and that's what you need to do in 10 minutes okay how to prepare for a you really should research these topics and should know what is the current practice already because 10 minutes are not enough to actually uh, read the scenario then read the article conclude the article and write the answers article will help you the research article but the bottom line is you should know what is the current practice in that topic okay so that's what we're going to discuss today so look let's look at this scenario so you are a nurse in charge on a medical ward one of your staff nurses amanda is looking after a young adult called liam with appendicitis okay so liam has autism spectrum disorder and now uh, he's also showing some signs of self-harm behavior on the ward amanda is struggling to communicate with liam and unable to provide mental health support and she is feeling a bit frustrated it's like nurses we want to help isn't it when we feel a bit unable to we don't know how to help uh, how we can communicate with this person then we do get a little frustrated because it's just our nature we want to help and so she's feeling frustrated and she's asking you because you're the nurse in charge so she's asking you if health professional generally in general they struggle to look after people with autism what do i think okay uh, how do i feel about it what do i think or what the current uh, evidence shows okay so we are going to base our recommendations or our advice to her based on the current practice it's not what i think or you think is about what the current practice current evidence says okay so then we are given this research study and then we will write our answer so before we start writing our answers let let's just try to understand the topic a bit better so autis autism spectrum disorder which is asd uh, obviously is lifelong condition uh, uh, people can be diagnosed with it as children or as even sometime in their adulthood because sometimes it's not very obvious sometimes it's only very mild kind sometimes it can be quite severe okay so it's not always that it will be always diagnosed uh, in children it can be diagnosed in adults as well obviously because they have not had the diagnosis earlier on uh, and it quite be uh, quite a bit of struggle for uh, people who have autism um, so that's the first thing to understand second thing to understand is the communication is the key uh, if we can communicate uh, with our patients who have autism uh, then we can provide a lot more mental health support uh, when we look after a patient we just don't look after only the physical side of a patient okay like in this scenario amanda may be okay to look after the appendicitis side of it but she's struggling to give the mental health support to liam uh, who is a young adult teen adult yeah 
so that's the thing so it's not only just the physical side we need to look after the whole patient and their mental health as well which actually the research shows the evidence shows nurses generally or generally healthcare professionals not only just nurses even gps even doctors uh, who have not had training specifically for autism do struggle to communicate so that's what the evidence shows that uh, as general healthcare professional we do struggle to communicate uh, with people who have autism okay and th that's kind of because we don't have enough knowledge or understanding of autism so we uh, so we don't know what to say how to support that person and then that person actually feels a lot more uh, I guess they feel a little bit let down uh, because they're not getting their mental health support uh, from healthcare professionals and then they're likely not to ask for it in the future again because if they didn't get it first time they probably will not ask because they will just think okay you know I mentioned this last time uh, you know I don't think I got the support I needed so they may be hesitant to ask it in future so that's another point to think but this is definitely a barrier uh, because I think healthcare professionals generally not have enough knowledge and understanding of autism and that is a communication barrier okay so that's the thing and I, I think research shows that all healthcare professionals should have they should consider additional training uh, to communicate with people uh, with who have autism um, so another thing is the it used to be called Asperger syndrome before 2013 that was quite common uh, a term used for ASD um, so Asperger syndrome so the people who were diagnosed before 2000 13 they actually wrongly believe because that's how it was and that's how they were diagnosed or told that they have a disability but that's not the case that's just the wrong belief uh, this is not true actually people with autism they might find uh, still have difficulty with understanding or processing information but not actually disability they can still do it they can still understand they can still process information they can do uh, everyday tasks it's just that they find it slightly difficult or different okay different or difficult but it's not a disability difficulty is not a disability so you could say it's, it's definitely a difficulty for them to understand uh, and process a certain kind of information but it's definitely not disability because they can still do it um, so again if we if the nurses or healthcare professionals, other healthcare professionals had more training about it, I think they will be able to give a lot more mental health support to these patients, which will actually improve their overall health and obviously uh, the behaviors like self-harm behavior or anything, which it would help with all that if, if the nurses and the other healthcare professionals had more knowledge and had more training to communicate with these patients, okay? So that's general idea so let's go ahead and write these points now okay so i will just say i have read the article and i conclude that healthcare staff should have training to communicate with people with autism and i make my recommendations as below the first one i will explain to this nurse on the ward amanda that healthcare professionals do not have enough knowledge and understanding of autism spectrum disorder and this is likely to be a barrier for people with autism accessing mental health support and treatment okay so they can't access they need that mental health support but they can't access because healthcare professionals do not have enough knowledge and understanding of autism spectrum disorder and that is likely to be a barrier for people with autism accessing mental health support and treatment uh, okay so uh, next one I will tell Amanda that healthcare professional may need additional training we already discussed this to communicate with people who have autism number three I will explain that people who feel disregarded means not listened by disregarded by healthcare professional are less likely to seek further help in future if they didn't get a first time they are hesitant to ask again okay number four I will inform Amanda that adults who have autism previously diagnosed with Asperger syndrome before 2000 13 wrongly believe that they have a learning disability but this is not true however 
people with autism they may still have difficulty with understanding and processing information but it's not a disability uh, it's learning but they wrongly believe that they have a learning disability but that's not true uh, they may still have difficulty with understanding and processing information and the last one i acknowledge that the mental health support and treatment may help liam's overall well-being and also improve his self-harm behavior okay so if we can provide that that would really definitely benefit liam okay so that's the five points you need to write in this topic i hope you understand this topic a little bit better now um, and this will help you to write your answers okay so if you like my video please press the like button now and subscribe as well now uh, you can also visit us on uh, oskinastraining.com or if you have inquiries about how we run our adult oski training we do both online and face to face please email us on oskinastraining at outlook.com you can also go and check our reviews on our google page to just see how our previous nurses who have had the training what they've been saying about the training i will soon be back with another video for you bye for now